In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a really quick look at how to save and access default or custom swatches here in Illustrator. So if we open up our swatches panel, go up to Window, down to Swatches, we see all the colors we have assigned as swatches and utilized here. Now we can create custom swatches and we can have all our different colors in here and lay them out however we want. But if you want to reuse these, so you don't have to completely create new swatches in new documents, you can go down to this Swatch Libraries menu and then go to Save Swatches. This is going to save deep within like the temporary files of Illustrator, but you can select the name of this swatch group. So I'm going to call it Default Version 2. I already have a version 1 out here. And we can hit Save. Now, when I open a new document, the new document won't start with this default set of swatches. But if I go to the Swatch Libraries again, at the bottom of all of these different templates and presets, we have User Defined. That's where all of your saved swatches are going to be. And we can actually come in here and select the one we just saved, which was Default Version 2. Once we click on that, it actually pulls open these swatches here. And then we can go to this drop down here to reorganize it. And this is how we can get the other swatches uh, from the other libraries pulled in. What you can also do from here is click and drag into your main swatches. So we have the default swatches open, which seems separate from our swatches panel. We could keep this open. We could even dock it over here. But we can also select folders of swatches. We can hold shift to select multiple. We can hold command or control to select individual specific swatches from this swatch group. And we can actually click and drag them into this other swatches group. So this drug them into our main swatches up here. And I believe we accidentally drug duplicates so we can undo that. But since I already had these in here, we only needed maybe these swatches here, so I could drag those in like that. And that's how you can quickly drag around swatches. You can remove them and delete them, but this puts them into my main swatches panel. But you can still have this swatch panel open. You can open up different libraries of all these different presets, and you can completely uh, bring in swatches from other documents into your current document so that you don't have to redo all of your colors every single time. And that's how you can have custom swatches shared between documents here in Illustrator.